And my dear brothers and sisters and the Zawar watching from home, uh, we have, mashallah, had a very, very great turnout. There's hardly any room to forget about maneuvering, to breathe. But Alhamdulillah, times a million. You know what I haven't had to do yet or haven't done yet? And that is actually taste some of the niyaz, some of the tabaruk of Aba Abdullah Al Hussein. So we need to make our way there. It's going to be a tight squeeze. Uh, my brother Ali, are you ready to come on this little journey with me? Let's do it quickly. Everybody follow me, please, right now. I will do the pushing and shoving, well, in a nice way as possible, but we need to get to the mokibs slash stalls that are readily available for all the zawar that have come here. And beforehand, when I was arriving here, I noticed big, big pots um, full of food that was being prepared. Let's see if uh, one of those pots have been uh, fully finished. And I believe they have. If you come here, Salaamu Alaikum brother. With me, come here everybody, uh, all the audience at home. So this is one of the mokibs. This is a mokib of family and friends. It's not really an organization. And look, can you pan towards my right and show them that massive ginormous pot. Come closer. Guys, it's okay if you come a little bit closer. Uh, salam, salam Alaikum by the way. What is your name brother? Uh, Saqib Abdi. Saqib Bhai, uh, please tell us what's going on here. What motivated you and your team to do this? Just to serve uh, the Zawars and Zaireen of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. Mashallah. And uh, we prepared uh, soup and uh, you can see these bowls and uh, almost that, that's finished. This is almost going to finish. And this is almost about uh, six to seven thousand uh, cups serving. So serving six to seven thousand servings. And mashallah, I see there's barakat in there because it keeps going. It keeps going. I don't think you're nervous or scared that it will run out. Even though when you look at the crowds, mashallah, it's been an amazing, amazing turnout. What was, can I ask you, camera, if you pan towards the left, what was cooked in there? Oh, there, uh, there uh, uh, some samosas, pakoras, and they, these were uh, freshly made. Live okay. cooking, and that's almost finished now. Okay, so I don't want to be cheeky, but I haven't had any niyaz. I haven't had any tabaruk. I heard samosa. I heard he came from Co all the way from Coventry and he has uh, freshly pre prepared 2000 samosas Masha. and it took about four people two days to make all those were not ready made by hand everything was for niyaz wow mashallah jazakallah what is your name brother sayyid ali abbas and you from coventry coventry yes mashallah you've done amazing and uh, can is there any left can i have one samosa or pakora i will share it with my cameraman i promise can i have one please i want to taste it ever since i was young i've been told you have to have niyaz of imam hussein al -Islam. you cannot leave until you have the niyaz the tabarak it is part uh, and parcel of the processions and the majalises. Yeah, I, I, no, no, this is enough. Trust me, this is sufficient. Um, brother, before I begin, as it is customary, I want you to take the first bite. My cameraman, he's taking a bite, I promise. And it's my turn now. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillah, free, no cost. And look, the cameraman just got his own piece, right? Why don't you give it to him before? I gave him some of mine. I'm joking. Uh, mashallah. As, let me finish first. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing because it's made from the heart, right? The niya was perfect, 100%. Obviously, we have about six, 7,000 based on my personal estimates. They will get tired. They will get hungry. They will get thirsty. And this is why they come to this area, which is full. This is just one mokib, one stall. And there's so many. And inshallah, I get the opportunity to visit the other ones and get a bit more food. But it's all for them. But it's actually for Aba Abdullah Al Hussein. Whoever comes for the sake of Imam, who follows in the footsteps of Sayyidah Zainab, food is something they don't have to worry about. Nourishment comes from above. And Alhamdulillah, what's in my hand, what everybody's eating, hot meals, not just teas and biscuits, hot meals is being served in the thousands and it will never ever run out. Anyway, I'm going to finish my samosa properly and then I've, inshallah i will come back to you just give me a few more moments i am coming back or going back to my other brothers our co-presenters assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh rahim wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh dear brothers and sisters 
and dear viewers and dear lovers of Abi Abdullah Al Hussein alayhi salam and welcome to the Imam Hussein TV3 coverage of the Arba'een procession, the 42nd Arba'een procession here in the heart of London. You can hear the Aza going on in the background right now and I am having to shout to speak to you and to hear myself speak. But today, right now, we are joined with a special guest, a man you've seen on Imam Hussein TV and numerous, numerous amounts of times and me and him have shared the same studio numerous times. Our dear brother, Sayyid Ali al -Radawi. Salaamu Alaikum Sayyid. Alaikum Salaam, brother Minhan. Thank How you. are you? Alhamdulillah. I'm forever grateful being here and surrounded by the lovers of Imam al Hussein and especially yourself, Minhan. Habibi, Habibi Sayyid. Now Sayyid, um, you being a mullah, um, being a dhakir of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, I want you to talk to me when you're recording your Arba'een tracks, for example. What, is, what kind of feeling do you, is, do you feel like you're just recording for the sake of recording? Or are you recording because you actually enjoy doing it? Do you pay for it from your own pocket or do you have sponsorships? No, subhanAllah, it's an interesting question because as soon as you asked, I sort of rewinded back to recording this year's yeah. Arba'een track. And it's not as simple as it is because you literally have to put yourself and the feet of all the zuwar. Yeah. So, yani for the one that I released this year was written by myself. Okay. Because uh, for me, I had to, you know, step outside the box and imagine myself as a Zayah trying to walk to the shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. So it's a completely different perspective. And you know, alhamdulillah, there are brothers who contribute towards this, so there are people who support you in this. That's 99% of the time, it's from ourselves. And alhamdulillah, Allah and Imam Hussein never, never ever let us. You know, Masha Allah. Yeah. Allah say. Now, what's the, you know, when you're standing in the studio and you've got the paper of, you know, the, the words that you're going to recite in front of you, right? What's that? Do you get a buzz? Do you have an adrenaline rush? Do you have butterflies in your stomach when you're reciting? Or what, what's the feeling? Because someone like me or someone like someone who's watching out there or the layman here hasn't been in the studio to record, hasn't been in the studio to record a track. So talk me through the feelings that you go through when you're recording. When you record in a studio, it's very different than hard okay. because it's you by yourself yeah. and uh, you don't need to worry about, you know, what's this person going to think? Uh -huh. Or for example, is he looking at me? Did I pronounce something correctly? Uh -huh. And alhamdulillah, the blessings of recording in a studio is that you can be yourself. So, you know, if you, if you made a mistake, if you made an error, you can redo the line. You can go as high as you want. You don't need to worry about you know, is the sound system not working? It's just you, Allah and Imam Hussain alayhi salam. Yeah. And that's the beauty of it, that you can be who you want. But there is this stress, you know, because you know, once you record the studio, it's very different to live. Live, you know, it might be a couple of hundred, couple of t tens of people who are there in the majlis. But when it's live, it can be heard by everyone globally. So there is this thing where our, our, are we doing our best? Are we really serving Imam Hussain with the right session? Alhamdulillah. You know, with the praise of all the mu'mineen around the world, we have been blessed to recite for Imam Hussein. I said to say, now, what, what's your feeling being here, seeing the crowds of the people here in in the heart of London, seeing everyone here in the heart of London? What What's the feeling that, because last year there wasn't that many people. Last year there wasn't, and last year I was blessed to go to Ziyarat al yeah, yeah, same as this year. And the fact that I'm back here again, I'm reliving Karbala. Wow. Because I literally just came back a few days ago from the Ziyarah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, I was blessed with the almost 22 million. Yeah. I think 21 and a half or so. We we're blessed to go to Ziyarah this year. And just seeing this environment one more time has reignited this love That's that we right. have for Imam Hussein. Now, Sayyid, can I please ask you to recite for us, for the viewers out there, and for everyone here, inshallah. inshallah. Am I looking at you or a specific? You can look wherever you want. You can look at the cameras, you can look at me, up to you. صلى على محمد وآل محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد The recitation, recitation I'm going to recite is about Lady Zainab عليه السلام and she has a conversation with Fatima al-Zahra and she's telling her mother the story and the tragedy she faced at Karbala inshaAllah Zainab ya Zainab Zainab Zainab, mother, do you know what happened in Karbala? 
Thank you for the opportunity. It's always an honor to be here with you on stage. Brothers and sisters, we will go for a short break. Live coverage of this Arba'in procession. We're still going and we're still here. So please join us and stay tuned. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum once again, dear brothers and sisters. I'm not sure if you're able to hear me okay. I can hardly hear myself, but hopefully with this good technology, we, you can hear me loud and clear. MashaAllah, the loudspeakers are fully being blasted with Latmiya uh, about Aba Abdullah Al Hussein. This, the manzar, as, you, as they say, the atmosphere really reminds you of Iraq, of Karbala, uh, of Arba'in, Alhamdulillah. And um, now you and I know what this feels like. MashaAllah, many of you have been to Iraq, Karbala, um, and you've participated in the procession over there, the walk over there. However, I have managed to track down someone who, who's not only here for the first time, but this entire experience um, is very, very new to him. What do I mean? I mean that he is new to the maktab of Ahlul Bayt. He is new. He's a revert. Alhamdulillah. And I want 
uh, us to share his story. I'm going to be chatting with him. I want both of us to chat together, shall we? Uh, here is the brother. Assalamu alaikum. What is your name? Hyder Ali. Sorry, once again? Hyder Ali. Hyder Ali, brother, I'm going to ask you to repeat a few times because uh, these uh, loudspeakers are very, very loud. I understand, brother, that you are very new to um, Shiaism, if I can say that. Uh, could I understand a little bit about your journey? I know you must have done a lot of research. I know the message of Imam Hussein, the individual himself, is something anybody, if you were to even learn a little bit about, you would fall in love with him. But what is it about your journey that you think stood out and you started to clock and realize, hey, this is where the truth lies. What is that one item? Go for it. You know, when I went to Hajj in 2017 and I started doing Ziyarat and Hajj and I asked Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, how can you make me closer to you than this? And then when I got back, I started studying the Ziyarat and I realized that uh, Hazrat Fatima Alayhi Salam and uh, all the Ahlul Bayt are buried in Jannatul Baqi. And I was disappointed that I wasn't told that while I was there. So I studied a bit more and during my studying, I realized uh, that there is a book called Najal Balaga. And then there's also a sermon called the Sermon of Fadak. And then I realized, how can you silence these people? And when I read these stories, I understood that Imam Ali alayhi salam and Fatima alayhi salam, they stated this themselves regarding the wilayat. Therefore, you cannot call them liars. And they stated it so eloquently. Which, which faith were you adhering to before you decided to come onto this path? I was a Sunni Muslim. And I followed originally first the uh, Diobandi sect. And I also followed the, the Wabi sect. And I respect my Diobandi and Wabi brothers, but the reality is that history speaks for itself. And then when I learned about the death of Hajar ibn Adi, may Allah have mercy on him, and the killing of his son by Muazia, and then the subsequent cursing of the Ahlul Bayt and Ali by the Caliphate, and if you didn't curse him, you'd be killed. So I think in your search, there were just one too many things that you needed answers for. There were more questions than answers. And therefore, you're like, you, Alhamdulillah, you found the path of the Ahlul Bayt. How happy do you feel now? Alhamdulillah, you know, this is the first time I've been a Shia Majlis. After three, four years of self-studying, this is the first time I prayed behind a Shia Imam. And it was so emotional for me. I thought, let me get ready for go Karbala, and this is all. Let me just prepare me to go Karbala because I feel a calling, and I just want to say something. I'm a former fighter, and there is nobody with more fighting spirit than Imam Hussein alayhi salam. He has ten times more fighting spirit than Muhammad Ali, and he has ten times more fighting spirit than Bruce Lee. And from my studying, I grew up studying Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali to me was a Shia. He has so there's many videos of him on Muharram, mourning Imam Hussein alayhi salam. There's many things that he said that he took from the Najal Balaga. Bruce Lee was a student of philosophy and he quoted Najal Balaga many times without saying Imam Ali's name. I can see that as you speak about these names, the Ahlul Bayt, you're getting emotional yourself because it's, it's very new to you and it's very powerful to you. Inshallah, this power continues and this, this blessing that you have received, you will it will continue to come your way, inshallah, by the Barkati names that you've mentioned. Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much for sharing your story. I'm really fortunate to have you. Imam Hussain TV is fortunate to have you. That's absolutely fine, brothers. This, it is what it is. There's, mashallah, too many people here. We cannot stop everyone. But alhamdulillah, we've had the brother here. Um, your first majlis. We have now been a part of his first majlis. First Arba'een, inshallah you get to go to Karbala. This is your mini Karbala. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much and Jazakallah. May Allah continue to bless you, brother. Thank you so much. Brothers and sisters, Mu'mineen and Mu'minat, proof, proof that the message of Imam Hussein transcends boundaries, transcends uh, languages and time. It doesn't matter what era you're born in. The message will reach you continuously, whether you like it or not. But Alhamdulillah to us, times a million, that the message continues to glow and flourish and we can be a part of it. With that said, I'm going to go and move, uh, move away from here. I really struggled to talk to you from this angle, but well done to them. Can you, can you put the camera towards what's going on to the left, Ali? Please, can you turn the camera towards the left? Can you turn the camera towards the left, bro? Show them what I'm witnessing. 
show them the ma'aqib, show them the amount of food, very good healthy fruits, and people are actually going out to deliver that food. They're not just calling, they're, they're going out and delivering the food in the buckets and everything. Uh, MashaAllah, the passion is great. Alhamdulillah, I am now going to leave you just for a little bit. Inshallah, I will come back with more participants. Until then, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah wa Barakatuh. The Zawar of Abi Abdullah Al Hussein have returned in their thousands. We pray for the safety of all Zawar of Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam. This procession could have gone on for much longer. The love of Abu Abdullah is a burning fire in the hearts of every believer. A burning fire in the hearts of everyone who seeks justice and who seeks forgiveness. Brothers and sisters, unfortunately, external and unforeseen circumstances has meant that we're going to have to end this procession and we're going to have to end this live stream earlier. We pray that our brothers and sisters, lovers of Al Muhammad are safe. We pray that the banner of Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam remains high and that the banner of Abu Abdullah Al Hussein alayhi salam will be given from one lover to the other. The lovers of Abu Abdullah fear no one. And the lovers of Abu Abdullah are in their thousands. Brothers and sisters, I commend you, every single one of you, for standing here or for watching at home. For watching at home this Arba'in procession. From the heart of London, the 42nd Arba'in procession will end here. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.